Our lesson for today is about solving quadratic equation by extracting square root. But what is quadratic equation? Let us define it first. In algebra, a quadratic equation from the Latin quadratus for square is any equation that can be rearranged in the standard form as ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, where x represents an unknown and a, b, and c represents known numbers where a is not equal to zero. When and how to solve quadratic equation by extracting square roots. This method may be used anytime your bx term is zero. You move the constant to the right side of the equal sign, divide both sides of the equation by a, and then take the square root of both sides of the equation. Let us cite an example. Solve the following quadratic equations by extracting square roots. Example 1, we have x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. As you can see, bx term is equal to 0, so we can use extracting square root method. Transpose negative 4 to the right side, and we will have x squared is equal to 4. Get the square root of both sides of the equation. We will have x is equal to plus or minus 2. How to check the answers in quadratic equation? Check your answers to a quadratic equation by reworking them into the original equation and seeing if they equal 0. Write the quadratic equation and the roots that you calculated. This is our answer in example number 1. It can also be written as x is equal to 2, x is equal to negative 2. The original equation in example 1, x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. First, we will use positive 2. Substitute 2 into the equation. We will have 2 squared minus 4 is equal to 0. Solve 0 is equal to 0. Now we will use negative 2. Substitute negative 2 into the equation. We will have negative 2 squared minus 4 is equal to 0. Solve. 0 is equal to 0. Both, pa both positive and negative 2 satisfy equation x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. That makes our answer correct. Example 2, 9 minus x squared is equal to 0. Transpose 9 to the right side. We will have negative x squared is equal to negative 9. Divide both sides of the equation by negative 1. Get the square root of both sides of the equation. And we will have x is equal to plus minus 3. Let us check can be written as x is equal to 3, x is equal to negative 3. We will use positive 3 first. Substitute 3 into the equation. We will have 9 minus 3 squared is equal to 0. Solve. We have 0 is equal to 0. Now we will use negative 3. Substitute negative 3 into the equation. 
we will have 9 minus negative 3 squared is equal to 0. So we will we have 0 is equal to 0. Both positive and negative please satisfy equation 9 minus x squared is equal to 0. That makes our answer correct. Example 3. 4x squared minus 49 is equal to 0. How to solve this one? First, transpose negative 49 to the right side. We will have 4x squared is equal to 49. Divide both sides of the equation by 4. We will have x squared is equal to 49 over 4. Get the square root of both sides of the equation. And the answer is x is equal to plus minus. Seven half. Let's check if this is correct. This can be written as x is equal to seven half, x is equal to negative seven half. The original equation for x squared minus forty nine is equal to zero. Substitute seven half into the equation. You will have 4 times 7 half squared minus 49 is equal to 0. Solve. 0 is equal to 0. Now we will use negative 7 half. Substitute negative 7 half into the equation. We will have 4 times negative 7 half squared minus 49 is equal to 0. Zero is equal to 0. Both 7 half and negative 7 half satisfy equation 4x squared minus 49 is equal to 0. That makes our answer correct. Example 4, we have 1 third x squared minus 12 is equal to 0. Transpose negative 12 to the right side. We will get 1 third x squared is equal to 12. Multiply both sides of the equation by 3. We will get x squared is equal to 36. This Get the square root of both sides of the equation. And the answer is x is equal to plus minus 6. Let us check. We will use positive 6 first. Substitute 6 into the equation. We will have 1 third times 6 squared minus 12 is equal to 0. Solve. We will get 0 is equal to 0. Now we will use negative 6. Substitute negative 6 into the equation. We will have 1 third times negative 6 squared minus 12 is equal to 0. Solve. And we will get 0 is equal to 0. Both 6 and negative 6 satisfy equation 1 third x squared minus 12 is equal to 0. That means our answer is correct. 